Good morning everybody, today is Thursday. I am gonna be doing a little workout with me and also showing you a little bit of what I'm eating for today's video. And before we get started, I know I have makeup on to work out. I literally have mascara, brows, and a little bit of lip balm on, but it was that or I wasn't filming anything today because I just feel so tired. I've not been sleeping well lately. So a little bit of mascara and stuff was needed just to make me feel a bit better. I've kept my skin clear because obviously I'm gonna do a workout so I don't wanna like, pile stuff on it and it's actually not behaving too badly at the moment so we're just letting it breathe but i always get comments on wearing makeup to work out so my general rule is try not to but if you have to do it today i'm going to be doing a little like mat workout mostly like body strength i'm feeling a little bit achy today just because i've been so anxious the past <laughs> few days that my body is now like coming out of that period of being really really tense so it's just hurting a lot i don't know if anyone else gets that like level of anxiety where you literally make your whole body hurt but that is where i'm at at the moment but i don't want to not do anything because i also think that's not gonna do me any good so what i'm gonna do is just do a mat workout no like intense cardio today i've given myself shin splints from running so that is definitely not on the cards today but i'll show you in terms of my movement activity what's been going on so i have been tracking my steps just using my health app on my iphone my phone's about to die so i need to show you really quickly so if i show you by week so as you can see in terms of my activity there's quite a range but anything up to eight k in terms of distance is kind of what i'm aiming for at the moment 8k tends to be somewhere between i think for me 10,000 and 13,000 steps but i'm trying to do between like 8,000 and 13,000 steps and obviously there are some days when i just don't leave the flat so that becomes a little bit harder so i'm kind of averaging out a daily average of i think about 5,000 steps if you include the days where i literally do about 100 steps not ideal. I think this week I'm averaging out between 4,000 and 5,000. I'm not looking at my phone, I'm just doing this from memory. But that will go up towards the end of the week because obviously we're only about halfway through the week and I do tend to do more on weekends and also on weeks I'm less busy, there is more time for extra movement. So that is also something to kind of take into account the past week i've actually just been so busy and really really just trying to kind of squeeze in runs which is why my legs are hurting so much because basically i am more strapped for time so i've been trying to run versus do a long walk basically i like to either do half an hour of like intense activity or more intense activity and then when i have time do a longer like low intensity because i just feel like it's more sustainable on my body and a bit more gentle and it just it just takes it better like in the days when i used to walk to work that benefited my body the most more than any like high intensity training in the gym but at the moment anything is kind of welcomed to be honest because things are just very very busy so i wanted to touch on that because i do get a lot of questions every day lots of questions about my figure which is like lots of people asking how I've lost weight which I feel like this started like two years ago so it's kind of been a long process and I'm not actively like trying I just enjoy exercising and moving and trying to make sure my body gets like a good healthy amount of movement like I think half an hour a day is like not a lot to be honest and I prefer to be more active but I'm very conscious of it at the moment because we are inside most of the time and I am not as active as I would normally be if I was like rushing in and out up to London for meetings and running errands I'm not able to like do any of that so I am far less active the only thing I would say is I'm a lot more active in general lockdown or not i stand for a lot of my day when i'm filming i generally this is like a rarity when i really like sit down unless it's a sit down video when i do my makeup in the morning i'm standing when i'm filming i'm standing even when i edit i stand i do like to generally be on my feet i'm quite a on my feet type of person if that makes sense like i don't like sitting on my sofa all day but yeah i had a lot of questions on weight loss and i just wanted to give you an idea of how active i am generally on a day-to-day -day basis even during lockdown and how much i kind of keep it in the forefront of my mind like i just think it's really important to be active like our government always says it minimum half an hour of activity i feel like is it our government that says it i feel like i've read that a million times throughout my life but i could be wrong I, but i feel like that it has been said so many times by different kind of like health authorities which is like half an hour of activity a day like just try and aim for at least that so that's always something that i try to do and i just find that it really benefits me so in terms of everyday general activity that is kind of what i'm doing is like half an hour trying to do half an hour high intensity if possible or then longer 
kind of more gentle walks but today i'm not going to do that just because i'm feeling really exhausted and i do have a lot to do so i want to just do some mat workouts like i said i think today i'm going to focus on core strengthening rather than like high intensity doing like burpees or any kind of cardio anything like that i might do some later if i feel up to it but right now my body is just very achy and i just want to do some nice core strengthening and some good stretches and kind of show you a more gentle workout and i'm also just going to take you along with me for my meals as well so basically whenever i'm stressed i like to strip things back to basics and just focus on eating well moving a lot like just the the bare minimum and so i thought seeing as things are crazy at the moment and they're about to get even crazier over the next kind of couple of weeks i would just bring you along for my meals and my working out and we're just going to take it back to basics so this is my workout ootd i've moved my mirror because ryan's about to have a zoom call in a minute and i figured he probably wouldn't want to be in the background of this video this i believe is from asos i wear this all the time you will have seen this quite a bit and then my shorts <laughs> i was like what are these called cycle shorts are from girlfriend and i really really like them h&m have a similar pair at the moment and i'm kind of tempted to try them out just so i have a couple of pairs but not sure because they have this like mesh bit here and i don't know how i feel about that so that is my workout ootd seconds basically the whole pretense of what i'm doing this morning is as many as you can for 30 seconds try and do them as well as you can and have as little rest between each one but after you've done each one rest also when you're doing this one the leg that is kind of on the floor got one leg here one leg on the floor this is really hard to show you because you're actually balanced on top of my TV, which I'll show you how thin that TV is. I don't know how I'm managing this. Anyway, foot that is on the floor, you want to be able to wiggle your toes whilst you're like this. So don't put your weight into your toes. Keep your weight grounded on your heel. So yeah, that is one of my favourite things to do on my mat at the moment. I've then got a few little resistance band exercises and then I've got a few bits that I like to do from a Danielle Pisa. I believe it's an IGTV, it's on her Instagram, so I will link that below for you guys. Just an FYI, this is how thin my TV is. I don't know how I just balanced you guys on that. able to wiggle my little toes and as with all of these exercises i try and keep my core engaged throughout every single exercise even if you're doing like an arm exercise having your core engaged actually stops you from like say your arms are struggling you start going like this your whole body's moving and compensating if your core is like tense you're literally moving 
just kind of the areas that you're working on or at least that's what i found anyway i feel like i have to carry out all of these videos with like i'm obs not a professional but through a fair few years of pt these are the kind of little things i've picked up that have really made the difference to working out at home and it doesn't feel like so much of a botch job if you know what i mean like you know sometimes you're like am i doing this right i don't know so yeah those are my tips and now we're going to move on to the daniel pisa workout which i'm super excited to do because i just know at this point like i'm quite used to working out at home i know which exercises i'm going to like the most and this looks like one that i'm really going to like but that's also going to be quite effective for my overall body but especially my core the only thing i would say is i'm really struggling today because yesterday i had like i don't know if i said this at the beginning of the video but i had a complete meltdown yesterday i was meant to film this video yesterday and it didn't happen because i was just an absolute mess i'm gonna move but yeah yesterday was a struggle and i also just because i was like so sad and so upset i didn't eat a lot so today's workout is definitely a struggle so make sure that you are eating the right things because if you're not you're going to feel this i'm definitely feeling this i might eat banana i might have a sneaky mid-workout snack because um, I feel like I just need the extra little bit of energy. I've also found lately that protein shakes are also a great one for me. Like when I've had them in the past I've never really noticed a difference. So I'm playing with my little baby hairs because they're funny but I've not always noticed a difference um with them but from my recent workouts I've actually really found them to be helping see so yeah, I would definitely recommend those we have a like vegan chocolate protein powder I believe and then it's blended with like some banana and some other bits I'm not entirely sure of the recipe because Mr Chef Ryan does it for me but yeah I've definitely found that to be helping as well if you need a little bit of extra strength for your workouts and you just find like you're you're feeling a bit too like weak and wobbly that can really help because most of the time with these like I'm not as wobbly as I am today workout a lot more i really enjoy workouts that basically like challenge me a little bit like they're a little bit tricky in terms of coordination for some reason they get you so out of breath i think it's the doing it for 30 seconds and then switching to something similar but a bit different but just the not stopping it feels so good for you i really enjoyed the one that was like both arms and legs basically like it's a bit similar but obviously in a different way to the first little workout exercise i did where it's just like whole body coordination but like core strength but i really really enjoyed that that's probably one of my favorite lockdown workouts that i think i've done so far having a little mid-workout snack <laughs> okay i've had a banana and one final little move that i want to add into the mix is one that i've been really liking recently but i've just added some weights to it which i hadn't before and i like even more now those i've just watched the footage back and my planks were a little bit not the best because with planks i like to keep my neck straight so i'm looking at the floor and then i generally use like my tv if i can <laughs> because the mirror is like not in the right place i try and use the tv when i'm here to check my form but when i'm doing a plank i'm too low and then i also don't want to twist my neck whilst i'm doing my planks because i just don't think it's like the best form and i feel like it's just going to really throw me off so i'm going to try and improve on that this next round and that's something i definitely would advise if you're new to working out at home or you're used to having a pt and you're just not used to not having someone correct your form i would say definitely like have a go at filming your workouts because you can kind of check your form and see what you could maybe improve on basically good form just makes your workouts more effective so it's definitely something to focus Person.
that is it for my workout today i feel like my form today was not great purely because yesterday like i said very bad day didn't eat a lot so your body isn't fueled as well as it could be which is why i'm just not doing anything super intense today literally that is going to be it i feel like as well as being mindful of the amount of exercise we're doing and the amount of food consumption it is important to make sure you fuel your body properly but also that you listen to it just what i'm doing This is the weirdest thing in the world, by the way, because I've actually got my bank on hold in my airport. So it's really weird. I'm like talking to you, but I can hear a robot like repeatedly apologizing, which is very annoying. I've made my lunch. We've got an assortment of pasta because we just have really awkward amounts of pasta at the moment. So I've just done a mismatch of pastas, a mashed up avocado as the sauce with some truffle oil, basil, salt, pepper, and then some broccoli and steamed spinach on the side basically stocking up on the carbs today because i didn't get enough yesterday and that is clear to me because i feel like i'm running on empty this afternoon's little snack i love these these are so great especially if you're trying not to eat chocolate but you just love chocolate <laughs> because we don't have a lot in the fridge. Honestly, I don't know where food goes. Actually, I do know where food goes because I have a six foot two boyfriend that eats like more food than I think I consume in a week, if I'm honest. I feel like the fridge is already empty and we food shop very recently. I have mints, all of the seasoning, kidney beans, peppers, sour cream. What else is in there? A little bit of garlic. You will have seen the recipe on screen. I had sour cream. Annoyingly, I couldn't wait to thicken it up. So this is a little bit liquidy, which it isn't usually. It normally sits like this and there's no liquid and it's great because I do like my chili a little bit drier some people will be like this is this is great but I like my chili to be a little bit drier but yeah that is what I'm having for dinner because I had avocado and spinach at lunch I didn't really feel like doubling up like normally I'd throw some spinach in here or have an avocado on the side of my chili but we're just sticking with the kidney beans and peppers for the time being tonight what else did I put in it I put coriander in it a little bit of lime so yeah that is what i'm having for dinner i'm still feeling a bit pants so i stuck some cheese on the top and some sour cream on the side because it tastes great i love sour i love sour cream so much i think i love it more than cheese the cheese is bio life the vegan block so i actually think if we took the sour cream off this would be vegan because the mincemeat isn't mincemeat it's like veggie mincemeat so ryan's gonna be very happy when he gets back from his run because there will be food for him but yeah couldn't wait for him to get back off his run so i just started cooking food <laughs> I feel like my makeup has like slid off my eye. Yeah, it definitely has. Wow, I've just made it worse. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna eat my food <laughs> and I'm gonna clean the kitchen up after this. One of the things I really enjoy about doing these videos is my whole house doesn't have to be clean or, you know, moderately tidy for all different camera angles. It's quite nice. So uh, yeah, might have to do a few more of these.
Good afternoon, everybody. It has been another night of no sleep. I actually don't know how I'm alive right now. Like my eyes are so dark. I generally like recently have been really able to go without concealer and all of that. We are getting through this. This is all temporary. I had my coffee this morning, went for a long walk. Let me talk you through my steps. Try and pop a screenshot on the screen so you can see it. I feel like it's so much clearer than me holding my phone up. But so far I have done 9,000 835 steps which is 7.1k and I'm going to try and do a little bit more later on as well if I can but I've got a bit of cleaning to do as well so we'll see but it's a really nice day so hopefully I'll get my steps up to around 11 that would be ideal but I just made some lunch and I'm going to show you because it looks really yummy I don't often make things and I think oh they look really yummy but this actually does so I'm a big fan of a protein bowl. I don't think you guys will know this, but people that live with me have probably seen me do this before. Just any friends that have spent any amount of time with me will know the bowl of random stuff. But basically I like to kind of eat this way because it's really easy to keep track of like your veggies and how much carb you're having and all of that. So basically I've got a little bit of couscous here and then we've got some roasted pepper, spinach. These are chorizo, chorizo, Linda McCartney sausages. Under here is more pepper. And then we have an egg and then some spring onion and vegan cheese on the top. There was going to be broccoli in with this, but I've decided to put it in with my meal prep for tonight's dinner. So I'll show you that in a minute. I've already prepped tonight's dinner and I'm super happy about that. I feel so efficient. So that is my little protein bowl. I also did this the other night from my day where I had a complete breakdown. I was like meant to be filming my meals and I didn't talk you through them, but I at least filmed them. It was the day when I basically didn't eat anything except my dinner and then Ryan made me pancakes later. So I had a protein bowl, which I hopefully we'll put on the screen now. So I had a vegan burger. It was one of the like revolution ones, I think, or a plant pioneers one. They're really good. They basically taste like actual burgers, but they're not, and that is ideal. I can't remember what else I had on it, but you'll see it on the screen. And then for dessert, Ryan made lemon and sugar pancakes, which I'm really loving at the moment because my skin is hating me eating chocolate. Lots of sugar in general is freaking my skin out, but chocolate is like the worst. These spots on the side of my face, I don't know if you can see them. I think those are from my mint chocolate chip ice cream, but they only seem to show up around the edge with that ice cream. So I don't really mind, but chocolate, like actual dairy milk shows here. Not ideal because I don't really mind the ones on the edge of my face because they're like easily hidden. They're painful AF, but it doesn't matter. But I haven't had any sugar really apart from the lemon and sugar pancakes in a few days my skin is looking okay considering i've not slept so this is actually doing really well my spots are kind of clearing up yeah that was what i ate on i think it was wednesday yeah it's friday now yeah basically i've been loving a protein bowl i've always loved them but i've really gone back to them during like lockdown just because i think it's re it's a really easy way to make sure your meals are as colorful as possible so you're getting like lots of different nutrients and vitamins and all of that and it's also a good way of like portioning up your plate this could probably have more vegetables but i'm trying not to go to the shop too much and i'm basically just working with what i knew i had in the fridge i was like well i know i have couscous and i know i have peppers and originally this was just going to be couscous and peppers and then i was like actually we can add little bits in so yeah hopefully if i feel like it i'll do a workout later this afternoon but if not my cardio today is just going to be it i'm feeling very tired i think just because of the lack of sleep my body is just basically running on empty a little bit i'm able to string a sentence together a little bit more today than previous days though so at least i have that going for me but yeah that is my little makeshift meal basically i just open up the fridge and i'm like what do i have and as long as i've got carb and then a few vegetables i'm like i'm good to go and luckily we actually had a few bits in the freezer so the sausages were frozen ones sometimes i also use fish fingers <sighs> they're so good i love fish fingers at the moment this also was meant to have an avocado as well but uh the avocado wasn't that good so this is where we're at so yeah it was almost seven o'clock i've been up and down to the post room like a yo-yo so hopefully i've got closer to my ten thousand step goal and i'm gonna have some dinner which i prepped earlier and i'm gonna eat it out of the tupperware because who can be bothered to have extra washing up not me so this is tonight's dinner. We've got my chili from last night with some couscous from lunch and then the broccoli that I also did at lunch. It just didn't fit onto my plate and I was like, actually, it works out better if I put this with dinner and then it's like a nice, well-rounded little meal I've got and it smells incredible. I love next day chili. It is one of the best things ever. So yeah, that is my oh so glam. Friday night dinner. So I'm gonna end this video here. I am so sorry if it was a train wreck, but let's hope I get some more sleep at some point soon because otherwise my foreseeable videos could be this level of like scatty. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing 
my workout singular and seeing a little bit about like how I am keeping tabs on my activity with my step count and stuff like that. I'm looking into getting a Fitbit and I would love like your recommendations or thoughts on that. I don't know if it's any better than my iPhone, but yeah, I've been really enjoying just tracking my steps. It's like a nice little way to kind of like keep motivated to keep moving and you can do it in different ways as well so i really like that but yeah very sad i only got one workout in but you have to listen to your body i just think if you're like really really low on sleep like pushing your body to an extreme is just like not the best idea so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed seeing this week's workout with me and what i eat in a day ish two days three days really and just like a little bit more of an insight into my diet because i'm just, just like slowly slowly getting comfortable with that but that's gonna be it for me because i'm rambling i hope you're all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon goodbye